and welcome everybody to a book the ticket. This has been a bit sporadic recently. We're hopefully back on track, keeping it weekly. Um, I'm gonna make Joe look like a bit of a tit right now because um, I have no idea what we're talking about today because he hasn't sent me the topics. Literally just made the layout. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't got it in front of me. Okay, Joe. I'll get him in front of him right now. Which <laughs> that British speak make him a tit. Like you can't say that here in the, in the United States. Make you look like a bit of a tit. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's a bit of a meh light week. It's the week before the Oscars, so we're going to talk about Oscars later on. But of course, you can find us at Comic Book Cast virtually everywhere. Maybe some places. I don't think we're on Vero, actually. Uh, we are not, but me and you are on Vero, which actually got I mean, we're, name. we're all on Vero. It's at the Twitter hashtags, or at, which is Mitch692 in Halftime Joe. Which I'm probably just going to change it to my my name, my actual name. But right now, you can find it at Halftime Joe. Just for simplicity's sake, he's at Halftime Joe. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Do you want to get right into it? Uh, or is there something you... Uh, just off the right before we get into it, just like the important stuff to mention is, of course, all the shows are hopefully coming back this week. We started off with Pass the Remote yesterday. You can go check that out. We talked uh, Moon Girl, Demo Dinosaur cartoon series, uh, The Gift of Season 1, uh, Why Iris Looks Stupid as in the Costume on the Flash, uh, yada, yada, yada type of stuff. Um, the gaming podcast tomorrow. We'll talk some stuff there. May show Thursday. Uh, comics Friday, which is the one everybody is really looking to mm. hear again because there isn't a lot of because there's so much comics. news, but there's also there's not a lot of people so talking news. straight comic news. They're talking about comics, but they're not talking about the news. In my opinion, I mean it's true. So it's true. there's that. Of course, Patreon.com/slash Comic Book Cast, and as Mitch said, just kind of Google us, or if you search us in any of the social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you'll find it. You don't necessarily need the ad because just look us up so mm. the, yeah that's all the important stuff also Patreon this month or what's it is it March yet? it's not it's March yet it's the 27th no, it's of March. February of course Patreon uh, we'll have an update on the YouTube channel hopefully mm. uh, somewhere on Twitter you know Twitter seems like the best place for a lot of updates so definitely follow on Twitter at comic book cast yeah. um, but yeah. we will have some updates regarding the Patreon if you have pledged recently and it has not been meeting the requirements, it will this next month. I'm telling you, look forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Like the stuff we're, we yeah, have planned yeah. for uh, March, specifically March, which won't and, be out to next week. So don't look for it this yeah. week. And there is some stuff coming to the channel. That's yeah, exactly. Well. So like, keep get, get excited. So, yeah. But for, but for Patreon specifically, there's an uprising coming. So. <laughs> I don't think that's the right term. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It, it gives it away without giving it away. Okay, go ahead. But anyway, getting into this show at hand, because it's all movie talk. Yes. Movie show. Not that movie talk, because it's copyright talks. infringement. It probably is. Um, I am going to butcher this name. Uh, Antoine, to me, it says fucker. I can't help but say it's anything. It's Fuqua, different. if I remember That's... correctly. Okay, Antoine Fuqua is back in talks to direct the Scarface re 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 reboot. Yes, and um, one thing I wanted to mention was this was the movie... That originally Antoine was gonna direct, then he dropped out. David Ayer came in, and uh, if I uh, David, if I remember correctly, David Ayer even went to Comic Con to state out that he hated what the studio was doing to him when he was trying to work on Scarface because they yep. just didn't let him do what he wanted, go all out R rated. Which, if you're doing a Scarface, you should definitely be R rated as much as you can. They, I don't know if they wanted PG thirteen Scarface, which doesn't work. I don't think that's... It's like PG-13 Scarface doesn't exist. You can't yeah, do it. That's, that's just dumb. It's Universal, of course, who's the studio. And he even made a comment, David Ayer, saying, like, studios shouldn't be messing with the creators, yada, yada. Everybody thought it was Warner Brothers, but we know it was straight up Universal because that ha- that was the most recent thing. So mm. Actually, I tell you, like, if you want to know what a PG-13 Scarface looks like, go, to, go watch Black Panther, because obviously, why wouldn't you? And then look for a specific scene with Killmonger and Adora Milaje. Oh, you're right. You're right. Uh, uh, that that was a highly PG-13 moment, and it took me right out of the movie. That's, <laughs> definitely, like, true. that's definitely true. But um, yeah, there's not too much news of this right now. Um, as Mitch kind of stated, that it's just this is just him coming back to this re 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 reboot, whatever you want to call it. Because of course, as some people don't know, which might be 
a mystery still for kids in 2018. Scarface, the one everybody loves, is a reboot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I remember I, mean, when I learned fair, that. I there's, like, no, there's no excuse for the internet these days to not know that. That's true. Like, Very true. Especially if you like films. Like, you you like, know that that's a remake. What do they call them? Cinephiles or whatever? What, is, what does he mean? Yeah, cine- cinephile. Like, you just really love film or what? Yeah. Okay. That's what file means. Be Actually, careful I, how that's not what it. files means, does it? Well, yeah. Oh, well, I maybe yeah. you get like audio files in the files. Ah, uh, okay. The generic file. Ah, uh, X Files. X Files. Um. Yeah. Right. So, With a PH. really quick, of course, nobody knows which is weird how you don't know, but Anton Fuqua, of course, he, he did Southpaw, Equalizer, Olympus has fallen. Uh, we're looking. I'm looking some more of the stuff that uh, I maybe I don't know. Um, probably, he's doing the resident. Wow. Okay. He's the executive producer on that. Is I didn't know that. Uh, oh, he he's, he's got his name on it. Yeah, he's probably not actually working on that. But yeah, yeah. so Southpaw, Equalizer, Olympus has fallen, Shooter, which I actually liked, and I like the TV show um, that's going on at the moment. Um, and let's see, Magnificent Seven, of course. Uh, that was alright. The new one. I, I feel like he's a, he's definitely not like an out of this world director, but you know, no. he's a, he's, he's possible. He's, he's a, so, he's a solid director. Like if you need a good movie, I don't see why you wouldn't get him. Maybe. I wonder, I wonder how much, like if this is going to turn out to be one of the, the walking Phoenix situation again, uh, where he's like, what joke can we be? And it's just like, I'm in talks for what now? It's <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it could, it could be maybe one of those things too, but We'll learn uh, soon. Uh, the movie was originally set to open this August. But... Yeah, it's not coming. <laughs> it was, it's not, yeah, they recently took it off the couch. No I read that and I was like, yeah. Unless they've made it like really like grimy and gritty and it's they, proper cheap and they, they can just knock it, it out and like knock it out in like a week. They then put a J.J. No Abrams or what? A mystery box? Like straight up filming I mean, nobody knew? Yeah. Nah, they took it off this calendar, so it's not coming out this year. Um, but yeah, that's true. Look, man, I'm a fan. I don't know how much you are, but I'm a fan of like the street kind of movies, like a Scarface or any one of those. That's why David Ayer's, uh, like he's one of my favorite directors because I love his vibe that he puts in the movies. Even Suicide Squad, I don't think that's a great movie, but I did like I the find, vibe. I find David Ayer tries too hard. I like that style of movie, but I find he that's really just, you're just not used to those kind of people. No, I just find David Ayer tries too Good. hard. Like, I, I enjoyed Bright yeah. for what it was. It Actually, he tried like so hard in that movie. Some of the dialogue in that movie. I mean, the dialogue was Max Landis, really, I suppose. But like, yeah. it, 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 it just felt a bit try hardy. Okay. Um, I, I remember when we were talking about it, I remember some of the lines you were talking to me. I was like, yeah, okay, I can see what you mean. But... Fairy lives don't matter today. <laughs> see, I thought that was that- hilarious. That was a thing that happened. I thought like, that was hilarious. Um, a, rich, a rich white boy who uh, like, can't keep his hands to himself. Right? We don't want to get into that. Um, so oh, this line. <laughs> yeah, it's I, been a better place for that most line. <laughs> like I'm saying, I hope this happens, and I would love to see the 2019 version of Scarface <laughs> to see what it looks like, uh, especially with now better looking movies in a way because let's be honest everything beyond even before 2010 looks weird compared to everything now you know what i'm saying like yeah. something from 2008 looks completely different than something from 2018 so i'm just curious as to how uh how it will look in that sense because movies look better now cg is better um we have some t- directors can be more creative nowadays so it's just I'm curious um but it's not like a movie I'm hyped until I see like a trailer or something like yeah. No, it's it's kind of one of those. It's unnecessary, but then again, yeah. I suppose the remake might have been unnecessary to an extent. It's Hollywood. Um, it's a Hollywood like tradition yeah. to remake to reboot Scarface, I guess. Yeah. So, Everyone's yeah. got to take a crack at it. But, um, but yeah, I'll I'll give it a shot when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. Moving on, we have official confirmation that Jurassic World three is happening. It has had a date announced. I couldn't tell you the date off my head. It's twenty twenty? No, twenty twenty one. Uh twenty twenty one. Yeah. 
June eleventh, twenty twenty one. That's the June. Yeah, I, I had. I was about to say June. I was like, I got June in my head. But, but yeah. yeah, I'm like okay on the Jurassic World franchise. Like I enjoyed the first one. No, like, second one kind of looks a bit Jurassic Park two. I, is there even more footage than before? Like, did a trailer come out at the Super Bowl? Um, I felt like it did, but I didn't necessarily see it. I th- so I no, it, it did. It had a little spot. Oh, I, that's what it was. Okay. I, I can't remember. <laughs> um, it was Jurassic like Park. Um, look, I will say what I said. Or when I saw the first one, I thought it was okay. It's like, I didn't jump out of my seat watching a movie. I thought it should have been way better. Especially the, like, I was so hyped for it in terms of, like, what they could have done of just making the dinosaurs who were used to be scary and all that just kind of like normal like the whole normalcy thing they could have done with it but it just felt well, very that, weird that was, that was kind of the point of it wasn't but it, it just felt it just wasn't as good as a movie as i thought it was gonna be but it's I mean, still sure, okay but i guess at the same time like they did the um, the force awakens thing where it's like let's just make the first one again let's just sure. reintroduce this franchise to people but give it that little extra uh, twist flavor and like game. having the dinosaurs, yeah. having the dinosaurs normalized in the world was the logical place for that franchise to go. Yeah, I especially mean, after the time it had. Like, uh, I don't know. I just weird. This has never been my favorite franchise, so I I don't have a lot of great words I mean, to no, say about it. It. It, hasn't, it hasn't been my favorite either. Um, to be honest, is I, it really I, a great I franchise? It. It's only I, had one I mean, great movie. I, I'd argue that it's had two great movies. Which one's your other one? Well, the, everyone knows the correct order. People oh. are going to fight me on this. They always do. <laughs> it's Jurassic Park 1, 3, and 2. That okay. is the correct order. Jurassic Park 2 is garbage. I don't Three really remember. I, I, I don't remember. I know. I just remember. The only thing I remember about those movies was one of them th- did the King Kong thing where it went to the city and the other Jurassic one. Jurassic Park 2. That's why it was trash. Okay. Like, and, there's and, no need for that. <laughs> so was the third one where I, I remember specifically. The third one's- the third ones where they had like the Spinosaurus and then they just pissed all over the T Rex and See, people I, got mad at that. I don't know anything about that. I don't remember that. But what I remember specifically, maybe there was a third one, was that there is a point where they go high in the mountain. There's like this big cage and there are these bird dinosaurs that are trying to get at them. That's all I remember. Is that the third one? And did they bring back the van? Or they had a van in the third one, right? And I think you're thinking of Jurassic World. No, because the sec in the third one maybe maybe it might be the second one, but the third one. One of them, I don't know which one, where the kid finds an egg and he protects it. One of the kids finds an egg. To be honest, I can't remember. I haven't seen either of the films yet. <laughs> Me either, and that's all I really uh, remember from those two movies. Like the first one's the yeah. only memorable and actually good one, um, great one actually. So the other two, I don't really remember. I look three might be really good. I just don't remember. It's been so long. So yeah. don't don't take I mean, my opinion like, too highly on this. And, and I mean, I mean, don't take my opinion too yeah. highly on it. I, I just like one of the people up about Jurassic Park three because um, <laughs> <laughs> some people get so angry about it. Yeah, but um, you know, it's kind of like the Alien franchise. Like, how yeah. many good movies has Alien had? You can count it on three fingers. I think the Maybe. first one's the best one. The second one, eh, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. But I, the first one, See, the, the whole the second, thing was good. The second one kind of redefined how sequels are made. Yeah, I agree. Like you know, you always had the first one's like always the genre one. The second one's the action one. Yeah, like that trope was made from Alien. Yeah, which I acknowledge that I think it was great, and I still think I probably I think I saw it recently. Like recently, I say like the last two years, and I enjoyed it. Like the second one too, and I just think the first one's more superior. I don't know. I really like that horror oh, it, vibe. It yeah. is. It's far superior. Yeah. It's it's definitely the better one, but is that like? similar sort of franchise where it's loved but it's not actually great when you look at it and you, especially now with the re- not requiem um covenant Re- i think it's a resurrection but i mean you might hate but, me i i'm not gonna say i i don't resurrection is not that bad yeah i it's, i i'm it's okay it's, it's, it's like i didn't hate can, my experience no you can get some enjoyment out of it. Yeah. people be like oh just we it's like Joss Whedon didn't really do anything. Like what he did was wiped out. So. Joss Whedon did <laughs> Resurrection. Uh, he wrote the original script and then they kept his name on the credits and then oh. just changed everything. So I don't even remember that. But um, like I said, I mean, yeah, it's just hard because you don't want to say you like Resurrection or Prometheus, but I mean, I, I, I okay. will say, okay. I will say, like, I, I 
don't know. I like Resurrection <laughs> as a bad movie. Now, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, it's the best. Because yeah. if you say you it's the best, and then you're lying. you might have like a lump in your brain. <laughs> It's just weird, but yeah, you're right. Like those those older franchises, like how many movies can we really say those older no, franchises no, have great? Terminator, movies? RoboCop. <laughs> I think we just overhype one of the movies and think of it as like it's because the first movie is so damn good, yeah. and then the second movie is so damn good, and just and then it, all the others that come like yeah. so. No, it's just one of the old franchise things. But, it just, but, but well, real quick, Jurassic World. Real quick, it right, just seems quick. like that thing. The whole like first movie, second movie seems like that's very back in the day. I feel like now it's more all of them are being better in a sense, um, uh, especially the third movie. I feel. I mean, maybe not because Dark Knight Rises sucks, and I like Dark Knight, so yeah, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> it it kind of it works sometimes. It, like, there's no like real like. Yeah. logic to it i get what you mean it's like you know you could always look at a sequel and go it's not going to make it much of the, the original that's true. which that, it's a rare case if a sequel does make more. yeah so not so much rare now is that's kind of been slightly changed but <laughs> it's what it is but jurassic world you know it, i'm happy the second one using puppets again i hope the third one goes full like full puppet again yeah I'm, I'm we'll, we'll find out you know when the second one comes and goes, and then they start amping up this movie, and they actually do something. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah. yeah, let us know if you're excited for the third Jurassic World. I can't believe it's on the third one already. Or... <laughs> yeah, it's just like Christ, it's suddenly come back. Yeah. Um, but next up is Disney CEO Bob Iger is all in on the Black Panther franchise. Yeah, dude, for has franchise potential. Maybe you can see spin-offs out of that. Yeah, you know, like, why would you not be when you've made more than your rival company's biggest franchise in four days? Yeah, so this is why I kind of put this in the news in a sense of, would it be possible to see spin-offs out of Black Panther? Um... I don't know if I want. It's weird. Spin-offs. It's weird. I know. It's, could, it's weird to say. You could get spin-offs, but I like you know. You look at everything they've done before. I don't think you're gonna get spin-offs. I know and this is a bit. Like, this is an anomaly, and you can't really kind of compare it to the other ones. Um, I don't know. You could. I don't know. Really. The word of Wakanda, right? It, like you could do that, but. That's a, the know. comic didn't even last. How's the movie gonna last? I mean, I don't know how long that comic lasts, actually. You know. Yeah, you know, I it saw might have got a, volume. a perfect tweet where people, because somebody, somebody was trying to get the whole train going on, oh, we love Black Panther so much, so Netflix should make a Wakanda TV show. And then somebody quoted every, that saying that, y'all weren't even supporting the comic. How y'all going to support the TV show? Like, it's so yeah, true. Yeah. Support the comic. That's where it all starts, you know what I mean? If the comic blows up, then you see these studios wanting to make them because they see it blows up on that smaller scale, which comics is still a large scale, but compared to movies and uh, TV shows, it is smaller. So that's why... Like, yeah, they're not that large. It's true. Com- comics, are, comics are a niche audience. True. Um, it's just it's so I mean, weird. I, I, don't I, don't know. Know how, I don't know how valid that argument is. Like, oh, you should support the comics if the comics make the TV shows. Like, it's true, I guess. I don't know how that... Tra- like, I suppose they get the things from the comics, but I don't think the popularity of the comics dictates no, what they're going to do in there. But, like, example... Not examples, but, like, uh, uh, like a, a source material, in a way. Like, you know, if War of Wakanda was able to go more and they wanted to make a TV show out of that, at least they would have some sort of source material with that. And, um... I know. That, I like, mean, yeah, that's yeah true. You know, I'm just, true. I'm just saying. As like, long as, we, as long as we don't get a Shuri, or Shuri Re Williams, what people are trying to get movie. Oh obviously. yeah, you want that? They like were, people are saying that. Yeah. Like, like, don't do the iron. Like, that's just nonsense. Like, why? It makes no sense. It's like, oh, we have two black girls, make them the same. Like, yeah. no, just just go away with that. No, be gone. Yeah, it's kind of uh, uh, weird like that, but um. But like, like I, I, I don't realistically see any like what what would you, what could you spin off from Black Panther? That's only I, I'm in the same vein of like I don't realistically see it, but you know people love Mumbaku, right? I loved him. I I'm, I was about to say that I I could watch like a little maybe a short movie with that. 
Yeah, uh, like, Angus, a, like, like a five it. limited series TV series. You know what I'm saying? Five episodes. I mean, maybe if you like just do, if you do a one shot, I'd watch that. So. Yeah, stuff like that. I don't know. It's just they. It just seems so at big. Like more. Yeah. Th- this is the greatest they've ever seen in terms of the Marvel like franchise, and it just seems even past Avengers, they said like it's doing like faster oh, than that. I mean, it, yeah, it's definitely like outpacing both the Avengers. So I think, that's what it? I'm saying. This they might break a little of the rules for this one, and you could. I mean, they could. They they could fool well. Um, I just to be like personally think they're just gonna put him more front and center. He's gonna be the Iron Man. Oh, that'd be cool. I would love that actually, because you know, we no, because could... like, let's, let's be honest. Like, could you've had a more perfect timing? You could have. You could have in two thousand and eight when Obama got president. I mean, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I, I'm not saying you should have made Black Panther two thousand eight because they probably <laughs> made Iron Man, but like that could have been a more perfect timing if there was a black president being uh, a, a, you know, going into the presidency and stuff like that, and Black Panther but came I out. Would, I would mean, I was meaning not any political reason. I was thinking more. Like contracts are up. Oh, I was being you cultural. Have, like <laughs> you can, you could just go to Robert Downey Jr. and be like, "Look, we have him on lock. If you want to stay here, you're taking a pay." <laughs> oh, you're so, telling RD, you tell RDJ if we, if if uh, Chadwick, we had Chadwick Boseman on lock. If you want to stay with us, take a pay cut because Chadwick Boseman is gonna be the face. And I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure RDJ would. You know, Robert Downey Jr. Seems like the type. This is his thing, and I feel like he would take a pay cut because he'll get money somewhere else, anyways. I mean, he'll no doubt get royalties for everything. Yeah, that too. Like for the rest of his life, and his kids are like, I'm, I'm sure he would. Like this. I mean, it's been a while since I made a sports reference, but this is the same thing in sports. You know, the veterans, yeah. RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., they take a pay cut for the team, for the squad, so that the the team could do better. Or else you have. It's, it's also don't just do more of a passing of the torch moment. That too, that'd be great. Um, uh, he's he's you got rid of one smart guy in a high tech suit. Here's another smart guy in a high tech suit. <laughs> yeah, and he has uh, awesome uh, family members and cool friends. Except I hate that the guy from Get Out is like being arrested. Like, man, I, that's cool. Like he he had his cool scene stealing parts and stuff like that. But like, I wish he would have been a good guy. Yeah, he was a bit of a tit in that movie, wasn't he? Well, I mean, he made sense. Like, literally, he said, this guy killed a bunch of our family members and someone close to me. You should bring bring him back dead or bring him back he alive. Didn't, so he him. didn't even hear T'Challa out. He just instantly went, no, fuck you. Well, yeah, because he literally said, I promise. And they take promises very seriously in Wakanda. Uh, yeah, you know. Like, he's been in like, well, we, for we a day. We can have this conversation forever. I love that movie, <laughs> to be honest. I love Black Panther. I am so <laughs> hyped. The thing is, like, since I've been away... Uh, do the personal reasons. Um, Disclaimer. <laughs> Black Panther. So I kind of just went in. Like I didn't. It wasn't a part of this two month hype that people were doing on social media and geek culture community and all that. So I'm kind of sad I wasn't a part of that hype because I'm sure I would have been like as hype as all these other people were and just like it would have been a lot of fun to be a part of it. But I'm still glad like I went in as kind of cl- not close minded, but it was kind of like. Knowing as little oh, as I could, oh. Peppy. I don't think they used really a lot of the Kendrick Lamar like Black Panther album in the actual movie. No, they didn't. They used it like three times. I felt like Which, to was, be honest, that was once. To be honest, I'm kind of glad because like stuff like that don't fit in movie scores for me. So I mean, I'm mixed, but I just thought that was weird how they hype up the album, but it's kind of like its own thing um, because it's not necessarily in the movie that much. Which was just weird to me, but um, I think I think it was more when Killmonger was around that you had. Which you know, he's the guy, he's the dude. That's my dude right there, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, I love Killmonger, and it's just this. It was just how like I mean, I'm now I'm talking about Black Panther. I mean, we are talking about Black Panther, but I don't really want to make it to a spoiler cast. Um, I mean, we've already done that. Go yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like Michael B. Jordan kills it, and. Yeah, I, he was good. He was I, good. That's what I, was. I just if he had survived, I would have loved to see his own movie doing his own thing. But I mean, that kind of ruins that. I feel like that wouldn't make it as powerful as a movie as it was if you knew he was getting his own movie and he was like staying alive. The the reason he sacrifices himself at the end means more. Can you call it a sacrifice? Okay, not sacrifice, but he doesn't. He stays true. It's to more his of a, word. It's more of a suicide. It's more of a suicide. Yeah, but he stays right. true to his word. 
Oh. I mean, true. Which are these I mean, people... the, the, dude, the dude didn't change. The, he had no character development that entire movie. <laughs> it's quite funny. And then people say uh, he's so much better than Heath Ledger's Joker. Uh, they both didn't I'm, have I mean, much character development. Um, he, might, he might have better dialogue than... To me, they're 1A and 1B, to be honest. They're 1A and 1B. That, and those two characters are the epitome of what villains, like, for the most yeah, of these I, movies, I, like, are great. I, I mean, I mean, I've I've been over this in the spoiler cast. Like, Killmonger, like as a as a character and as a villain in the, the movie, wasn't much different to other people. Like, he's essentially people hate that. I say he's essentially Hella. Like, oh, very, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, they, like, they had the similar, similar. Yeah. But the thing that sets Killmonger apart is that dialogue. It's also so radical. You know what I mean? Like of how his style, his tone is with the dialogue. Uh, two Black Panthers. Uh, as opposed yeah. to Hela and it, Thor, like, it's, it's, the, it's the fact that like, you know, because the the two movies are kind of similar. Yeah, I anyway. know what you mean. I've, they're yeah, both I trying to that. say similar things. One's just more subtle about it than the other. Black Panther is more like, not necessarily in your face, half fisted, but like it's very much it's at the forefront in the like the second half. Yeah. But it, it is that like impact that makes Killmonger stand out from the rest. Whereas like his latest Joker, it's he's had that was his movie. Like, Man, it's kind of yeah. so. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, we, we kind of went over and saying that like, don't we don't think any real spin also happen because they don't want to take the organic nature out of it, even though you this know is. What I would have had anomaly. as a spinner. Hmm. I suppose they could still do it actually if they really wanted to. Um, Claw, I, I'd watch something. With Claw. No, 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 probably, I wouldn't. Give, but... give me Andy Circus. Put that magic bead in his back and or his front wherever he got shot, and I'd watch something with that. Um, I like, mean... give me a movie of how Claw made his mixtape. <laughs> oh my god! And I want it so I can find out what's on that mixtape. That's what I want to know. I think everybody just wants a word of Wakanda. Everybody just wants to go back to Wakanda. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. why wouldn't you? It's true. It was a good place. Um, and there's so much more to explore in that sense. Um, of what I mean, Wakanda yeah, has only, to offer. We only saw that one that one street. So we only give us the second scratch the surface because I did love when he would take in the spirits of the Black Panther as uh, <laughs> the memes always go like the memes of Forrest Whitaker saying the whole thing of giving them the juices of the spirits like it's hilarious uh, don't hate on my boy Forrest Whitaker he's he <laughs> he he, he, he did the most out of what he got yeah he, I went in there ex- fully expecting like a proper like hammed up Forrest Whitaker <laughs> yeah I- I'm gonna eat the scenery with this accent. And like, we could, we know, like it's like, like we Forrest Whitaker hammed it up in Rogue One, and we're like, now he's in Black Panther, and he's like screaming the top of his lungs, like he's a reverend at church or something. It's, it's like everyone's going right. You got to drop your H's. You got to drop all this. And Forrest Whitaker's like, no, I'm dropping most of the fucking. <laughs> Dude, that was just funny. Like I was inside laughing when that would happen because it's just like great. Like it's like even laughing how. That is bad. It's just, it's I just not a bad laugh. It's just like as far as work. <laughs> Dude, that's just awesome. Like they let him ham it up, in my opinion. Like yeah. I was like, yeah, you go, Forrest. But the um, thing, like, unlike Rogue One, it doesn't stick out. It goes. Yeah, with yeah, the movie. It really does go with the movie, and um, but I guess uh, I really loved when uh, T'Challa would see his father, and then he was in the spirits and stuff like that. I'm a big fan of stuff like that. Like, um, I wish you saw you know. Bast. To be honest, yeah. Um, no, you, you probably who played his mother? What was her name? Oh, Angela like, Bassett, right? Yeah, like, I kind of like you could have taken her out of that role, put someone else in there, and have like Angela Bassett voice Bast, oh, you're something right. like that. Yeah. It is what it is. She did fine with the scene she had. Yeah, and... uh, yeah. I think that was as much as we could talk about Black Panther. To be honest, I, I just yeah. love that movie, and I could go on forever, but we can't. We only have like certain. Months. I mean, I can talk about, it, but people like, you know, yeah, <laughs> good movie, <You're> right. but um. <laughs> Uh, which one's next? I've got the order of next. Oscars. Oscars 2018 is this Sunday. Really is. And wanted to do a quick discussion. Uh, straight off the bat, uh, I haven't seen all the movies. I'm gonna see all the movies. Um, Mitch has seen majority of them too. But I, I want to see all of them. I haven't seen Dunkirk because uh, I'm not a big fan of war movies. But I, I feel like I have to see if I have to, you know, just uh, know how it's gonna be on the Sunday. But yeah. I've seen six out of the best pictures. Yeah, uh, I've seen them see. 
Three, two, three, four. Five. I've seen about eight. Um, but that's mostly because my friend kept wanting to go see them. He's like, oh, they're showing them at the draft house. You have to do. I was like, oh, well, you're right. I'll go see them early. Um, but but which ones are we gonna run down? All right, right so we can Let's run down from like the the top, the top of like best picture, the best actor, yada yada, yada. and then because the, like the bottom, like you know, best. Uh, best documentary, documentary best like, foreign animation. Yeah, movie. that's not like our style, and it's okay. It has, we don't have to talk about I mean, everything. Like, yeah, like, I don't. Like, you get the categories where you're just like, oh, yeah. I don't care. We're going to talk about like kind of the main ones, and that might make us kind of. Uh, what do you call it? Like, it might just. Uh, topical? No, what's this the word? It's like normies. We're not, yeah, normies actually. That's right. But, true. you know, we don't care. <laughs> We're gonna talk about the I'm main an ones. Yeah. Uh, so, best picture. So Let's best at least picture. talk about that one. All right. So, call me by your name. Darkest Hour. Dunker. Get out. Lady Bird. Phantom Thread. The Post. Shape of Water. Three billboards. Um, it, I I said it was up in the air for either Shape of Water or Lady Bird. Um, with the momentum Shape of Water has, I wouldn't be surprised if that gets it. Yeah. Um, call me by your name. I hope and pray it doesn't get because that movie's trash. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I have I have I it since Darkest right. Hour. I mean, like, call cool. me, but like I've, I've said it on here before. Call me by your name. It's it's not really a movie. Um, it's kind of like you're following someone, and then he bangs a fruit, and it's a bit like, Let, like let's be honest. Six of these movies are just like I'm just happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? Three of I them mean, only really have a chance to win. I, would I mean, say, unfortunately, Get Out is one of those. Yeah, I'm happy to do Yeah, Get Out's one of them. Dunkirk with Nolan, that's one of them. Um, say Dunkirk, say it's Nolan. This is the yeah, Darkest Hour, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, I think Phantom Thread, I'm just happy to be here. I um, haven't seen Darkest Hour, so I can't really comment on I that. I enjoyed I'll it. This week. I enjoyed it a lot, but um, that's because I love kind of the older stuff. But I haven't, I haven't seen Phantom Thread at the post. They're the t- three I haven't seen. Um, I'm telling you, the three ones that are mainly going to have the ability to win, Shape of Water, the hype yep. going around it, uh, Lady Bird, because it's the whole, like, you know, it's, it's the whole women empowerment thing about it. It's, I mean, it's, it's not even just that. It's a fucking good movie. That too. I mean, that too, right? But it's just, you know, when you look at the Oscars, it, we've always said it for the last couple of years, it is a very kind of, if you get the sense of the political climate around these movies, you can kind of know which one's going to win. Yeah, and in fact, I, I say call me by your name. Come back to that quickly. It's just like it's, it's not really a movie. It's more just following people. That's no different to um, oh, what was it called? <sighs> the Dis- the Disneyland movie when they're in the oh, um, uh, with George Clooney. No, not George Clooney. Oh. It's got, um, what's his face? Who does? Oh, I, I'm certain he's in uh, best act or best supporting actor. A Disneyland um, movie. The Florida Project. That oh. One. Yeah, that, that like that's kind of like that and calling by your name are kind of similar. They're not really about anything. It's more just following lives. Okay. Um, but the flood project was so much better. But to be honest, Lady Bird, Shape of Water, Three of Billboards. I I I don't think the post would be able to get it. It came in too last minute, in my opinion. You gotta have a good amount of time. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it too early. Can't do it too late. Gotta have a good in the middle. I, I kind of, yeah. I mean, I'm with you on the three. It's definitely between Lady Bird, Shape of Water, and Three Billboards. I'm, I'd be more inclined to give it to Shape of Water just because of the hype around it. Yeah, and see, I would have like, gave it the momentum in the awards it's had, like probably. Which one was the one that won at the Globes? Was it Three Billboards? Was it Three Billboards? Um, I see the three, see the Three Billboards or Shape of Water. I, yeah. Which what one came first? Because Three Billboards started off the war season really strong. Yeah. And then the next award one, The Shape of Water, just went, huh, no, and ran uh, with it. Let me look. Uh, three billboards came out, release date, United States, November 10th. Shape of Water came out, release dates in the States, December 1st. I was meaning what award show came first. Oh, Globes uh, or? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Globes what, was January one? 7th. Yeah, so it's probably the Globes and that three billboards. Yeah, so with. three billboards probably. Let me, I'm going to look it up because... It just uh, seems like the the hype is starting to go around Shape of Water, which it's because more, more people are just seeing it. Like three billboards, it's like I think it's. I'm not a hundred percent why. Uh, yeah. I enjoy three billboards. Um, 
I enjoyed the season. But I think it's probably just more of a true story that it hasn't got. Even though it's kind of contradictory to Yasuke. Yeah, okay. Like... Three Billboards did win. But look, if Guillermo del Toro wins, that's three times in a row Mexicans have taken Best Picture. Which in yeah. Best Picture usually <laughs> takes Best Director. So if he Enjoy went... it white. Enjoy it white last. It's true. Uh, Alejandro Inaratu, Birdman, um, The Revenant, and then okay. Shape of Water with del Toro. And he's probably going to take Best Director. If he takes Best Director, he's, de- he's taking Best Picture. It's, like, it's done. Yeah. Um, you could have got four years in a row because what did he do before? Um, the Toro? No, not, not, not Toro, the Toro. The other two? one. Yeah. I don't know. What, what did he do before? There was another one right where I thought he should have won, but I forgot what it was. Yeah. Um. So he did Birdman, The Revenant, The Land of Silence, but at the same time, no. What was the other one? Oh, I think it was a. Uh, a beautiful was it that one? No, it might have been. I can't. Right? It's, it's, <laughs> that's four oh. years ago in the past. Now it's too long. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. But let's move like you know who who do you think is gonna get best picture? A what? Who do you think is gonna get best picture? I think Shape of Water. I don't. I just have a feeling. Somehow, Shape of Water is gonna come out of nowhere. It's not coming out of nowhere, to be honest. Even though there's hype. I was gonna say it's, it just, it's kind of. <laughs> it's got the momentum. It just. It. I don't know. I think there's a lot of momentum too three billboards or ladybirds but then somehow like they were fighting each other so much that shape of water is just going past that you know what i'm saying because mm. three billboards and ladybird they're that whole um you know women type of thing uh so that's why i feel like it people are gonna like can- they're gonna cancel each other out in a sense yeah but shape shape of water is about women as well yeah true i don't know this is something way drastically different about shape of water <laughs> compared to i mean yeah well <laughs> If she, according to some people, it's just a rip off of something else. Oh, so. yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's a different but, topic. All right, so I think Shape of Water is going to win. You think Shape of Water is going to win as well, right? Yep. All right, so we got. Shape and I, Shape and I, personally, I'd want Shape of Water to win as well. All right, I'm writing this. I'm writing this down, so we have it. Um, I mean, write it down. I'm probably wrong. I normally am. Yeah. All right. I hope I'm not wrong. I really want the Toro to win. I don't think he has a best picture, does he? <laughs> yeah. So it'd be great for him to win. Um. Best actor. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be oh, you're Timothy. Going, you're going that way. Oh, that way? Okay, no, we'll go best director. We'll go best director. Let's be honest. Christopher Nolan's there like, I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> he's like, again. Um, Jordan Peele, he's not going to get I'm just glad uh, to be here. Like, yeah. Which I would be so like happy and like happy surprised if Peele was able to win best director or best picture or one of those like top ones. Just because I really love Get Out. I think that is an amazing movie. I love I, I, that movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, I've said before, I don't yeah. necessarily think it should win like the big ones, but like Probably recognition. No, I, mean, I mean, like the like a big awards, like yeah. Oscars and yeah. like, you know. And maybe like the smaller award shows. Um, it deserves recognition and it probably should have won maybe more than it, it has. Yeah. But like I think there's just better movies this year. Like it was a very like 2017 was a stiff year for movies. And like, the only reason I could see Peel getting it is because he just came out of the gate, guns blazing. Literally, like he yeah, came get yeah. out and it's just like whoa, nobody thought that would happen. And that's the mm-hmm. only reason I could see Peel getting it as a like saying yeah, you all time like great and just you're, like already the beginning. Like I don't know, it just seems like. But at the same time, I just feel the is gonna get it because he's gonna get best picture and best picture and best director usually go hand in hand. Usually, yeah. usually. It's, it's one. It's one of those where it's like if these movies weren't here, Get Out would have won. But that's that's for like every movie. That's you know what I'm saying. No, no, but like you know, like there's some years where you can go like you know, Get Out came out at the start of the year, so I'm yeah. kind of surprised it's here in general. But like, it's like. If there was nothing else, if like say The Shape of Water and Three Billboards and Lady Bird weren't as good as they were, Get Out would have it easily. Yeah. yeah. But like those three movies are there, they're that good. It's kind of like sorry, Get Out, you're yeah. fourth. All right. Uh, yeah. I think the Toro's gonna win. Shape of Water. You think? So? Um, I think Greta Gerwig might get. That makes sense, but I just feel like they're gonna go hand in hand, so that's why I'm going to Toro. I mean, it's 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 possible. I just think Greg Gerwig might snatch it. Yeah, all right. We're going to put uh, you and me. All right. And then the best actor. T- 
Tim, I think it's uh, Timothy Chalamet from Call Me by Your Name. I think you'd get an Oscar. Um, but it's Daniel Day Lewis in the. I know. <laughs> How can you fight Daniel Day? But it, it's just gonna be the whole like what he did in Call Me by Your Name is following him. Yeah. He didn't do much. He, he like monked off into a fruit. And that's about <laughs> it. I don't know. He monked monked off into a fruit and then sat by a fire. That's half the movie. It is Daniel Day Lewis. Yes. Um, and there's also Gary Oldman. Denzel like, Washington. I would say I don't think he's with me, but still. What? How, how do you pronounce? I can never pronounce his name. Is it Kaluuya? Yeah, something Daniel like Kalu- that. I I just yeah. he's glad to be here because I compared to like Danny Day Lewis and all that, I don't think his performance was as great, but he did good in what he did and get hey, out. Again, he was good. It's just like against Danny Day Lewis, you ain't winning, bro. <laughs> it's like you were nominated. You know what? <laughs> You're right. It just seems like when you look at these names, it seems like the obvious choice is Daniel Day Lewis. He's clearly the most like veteran. Because isn't Daniel Day Lewis retiring now? Yeah. Isn't Phantom Thread his last movie? I don't know about that, but I it just seems like too obvious that it's Daniel Day Lewis that I feel like it'll be, it's gonna be somebody else. You know. To I'm be saying? honest, I this one I'm probably leading. I haven't seen Darkest Hour, but there's a lot of talk about Gary Oldman as yeah. Judge. I mean, it's just maybe we're only doing like discussions and stuff like that. We'll have like maybe more official. Like things maybe be, uh, the day of or the day before because you know we still need to see all the movies. But um, mm. th- you know we're saving our time. We don't get screeners like all these other people. Um, I would, I'd love screeners. I love screeners too. Uh, I just movie that, movie people send me your movies for free. That's what I'm saying. Uh, best actress, <laughs> Margot Robbie. Come on. Best actress is hands down Margot Robbie. Yeah, it just seems the I Tonya is a fantastic. Yeah. Movie. It just seems, yeah, it just seems it's gonna work. So, um, like Sally Hawk, but at the same time, I think Sally Hawkins might nab it. I can, I know what you mean. She did. She was great. Yeah, but I just um, feel like the I Tanya thing is so big that Margot Robbie is gonna win it. Which I didn't I mean, like, think she'd be in the Oscar contention a couple years ago. In my opinion, I never thought she'd no. be an actress that would be in the Oscar contention, which is great to see. You know. Yeah. But, um. It is a weird one. Uh, Frances McDormand. Um, she was good. Yeah. All right. We're 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 gonna speed up a little bit more. Uh, so we're just gonna, gonna break down. So, yeah. uh, what are some of the other things you're looking at? So, maybe best screenplay, I think, get out, in my opinion. I mean, she go like, just quickly, I'm gonna say the best actress, Sally Hawkins. Yeah, I think Margot Robbie, but yeah. I, I'd like it to be Robbie because yeah. she was good. Uh, um, well, we don't have to do supporting. Like, no. I was going to say supporting actor. Yeah. I'd probably give it to Rockwell and uh, what else is there? Maybe Octavia Spencer. She's on a high at the minute. Yeah. Actually, no, Addison Janey. Yeah, Addison Janey's that one easily. Um, I was going to say for the screenplays, Get Out, and uh, I think uh, Disaster Artist is probably going to win, not Logan. But I, I feel like Logan should have should. Oh, you're an adapted screenplay. I was like, Logan's yeah, not. Yeah, both are original and adapted. Um, original honest, I, I don't think Logan deserves an, even to be here. Really? Like, it, if anything, he should have been a supporting character, a supporting actor. Can, I don't think the screenplay deserves anything. Can we just say that Disaster Artist is probably going to win a screenplay? We're going to see... Uh, um, so- uh, not after the whole Franco thing. No, that oh, that's true. I, 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 think, that, I think Disaster Eyes has kind of gone from that. That is so um, true. I forgot about all that because I, I, you know, I was away from the internet. Um, you know, and like you tried to deny it, and then went to that award show, and it hasn't been seen since. Or so. you know what? Call me by your name. That straight up has to be the one. I feel. Um. No, because I didn't see uh, Molly's game. I did see. I didn't like. Uh, I think I saw. Game. I can't. Which is I, so I saw weird. So Aaron Sorkin did Molly's game, but I just didn't like it that much. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go with you. Coin by your name. I think we'll have yeah. that one. All right. Um, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be surprised if Logan gets this. What did you say for best original? Uh, best original. I did get out. No, big sick. If it's not the big sick, I'll be annoyed. I think that get mo- out's gonna was- be the. That's the one award it's gonna get. And it's gonna. It's gonna be its recognition thing right there. I think it uh Possibly, but at the same time, the big sick was pretty fucking good. Yeah, <laughs> it was so good. Um, 
there's nothing else I want to mention other than, uh, of course, Coco is going to take all the awards. It's going to be the first oh, unanimous Coco, Coco. best animated feature yeah. film. So, hands down. Yeah, hands down. Um, and that, that was kind of it. Uh, um, that was kind of it for me uh, in terms of like all this like yeah I was just having a little um, actually I think to be honest just quickly huh. if Blade Runner doesn't win any of the technical ones best I'm going to be rioting in the streets you know it's going to win best visual it's the only one Guardians it, it, is not it, Kong no it, Star Wars no if it doesn't get best original score best original what else is in Best sound mixing, best sound editing, production design, scene photography. If it doesn't no, get no, nope. Sound mixing it... goes to Baby Driver. No, yes. not a chance. Baby have Driver, you... bro. John, have you seen Blade Runner twenty forty nine? Have you seen Baby Driver? Have. Yeah. Have you seen Blade Runner? No, but Into Baby Driver. I I don't. I love Baby Driver. Blade Runner. Right. Well, I just agree to disagree. Um, that's all kind of like I got. Uh, just. I mean, I, I've seen both. You can't disagree. It's true. <laughs> I'm gonna see them all before the Sunday. I have time. I uh, mean, you're gonna need a week for Blade Runner because it's that long. Yeah, true. All right, that's kind of it. That's all I have. Yeah. For Oscars. Uh, you want to move into that's last? Like Gu- Guardians of Visuals. To be honest. No, it's gonna be Blade Runner. I mean, it probably will be Blade Runner. Um, you know, Guardians has the biggest visual effect, single big, what? single biggest visual effect in history. Um, I don't. It's kind of it's it's a tie for me between that would, two, which I think. Yeah. Would this be a like? I'm not trying to be one of those Twitter guys who are like, "Oh, I love the Last Jedi, f you to everybody else" type of thing. But would that be one of the biggest like haha moments if Star Wars: The Last Jedi wins an Oscar and everybody hated it? Or not everybody hated it, but a lot of people hated it. I, I think less people hate it than you realize. Um, it seemed like a lot. I, I thought it was yeah, cool. Yeah, I but, it was okay. but a, a Twitter bubble can seem it's massive. It's very <laughs> true. It's very true. Um, now, whereas one person against 12, it can seem true. So, all right. Uh, uh, that's, do you want to just yeah. leave it at that? Yeah, Blade Blade Runner for everything else. <laughs> yeah. That. It's, right. it's factual. If you disagree, you're wrong. Take us into the last but it's piece. But it's 2018. It's okay to be wrong this year. Yeah. That's the thing going forward. Uh, yeah, I think we're done there. I've closed the tab out now, so it's too hard to go back. Yeah. Unless you've got anything. Take us into our last. Yeah. And the final thing we will talk about, as usual, is the box office for the weekend of February the 23rd to the 25th, 2018. Um, did you want to say what the five to one was? Uh, yeah. The oh, coming in number five was Fifty Shades for Reed. Such Which a is stupid name. Spawned some very, very touchy memes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, good. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, Annihilation, number four. With the... I haven't seen it yet. It's on Netflix. I've had no excuse. It's on Netflix? Understand. Yeah, it only came out in theaters in the States. Worldwide, it's Netflix. No way. Oh, I hate y'all. I love, I want to see that movie so bad. I don't want to go to the theaters. It, it, literally, it literally Cloverfield everyone. <laughs> God, let me see if I can find Which, it. Which, to Netflix. be honest, I'm not going to complain. I really like watching these big budget movies, even me though too. Chloe Ford this isn't a big budget, but like these movies on Netflix, it's nice because there's no one else and it's on a 4K yeah, screen. So it's all... Go ahead. Uh, Peter Rabbit, number three, with 12 million. Um, that's down. For... Is that the second week out? That's the great. No, it's his third week out. Yeah. It's Peter Rabbit. Um, number two is Game Night that came out that weekend with 17 million. Uh, I, I don't know what number one is. Black Panther. That movie's just. Can look at the drop off from Black Panther's weekend gross: uh, 111 the... million to 17 million Game Night. What the drop off, bro? Black Panther came in at the perfect time to take all the money. No other blockbusters until like what Ready Player One slash Pacific Rim. Uh, she wants to talk about blockbusters. The next one's Avengers. No, but Pacific, Pacific Rim Pacific, is a blockbuster. Pacific Rim's not gonna bust anything. <laughs> uh, Ready then, Player the One then. Ready the... Player One's a blockbuster. Nah, not at all. That's yeah, not gonna do that. I feel. Um, I, I need to see Annihilation, dude. My friend went to go see it because he has the movie pass, which I'm determined to get. Um, he said it was great. He loved it, and he loved like um X Machina. <laughs> Cause it's the same guy I did X Machina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was great, and I I'm looking forward to. It. I just love that cast too. 
Yeah, I'm not a Natalie Portman fan, but Natalie Portman of sci-fi is like, I need to see this. I heard she, she was good. Tessa Thompson's yeah. in it. Like, you know, shush. I'm all aboard for this. It's like, isn't this like the first sci-fi Portman's done since the prequels? Yeah. I can't name you anything else. But, um, I, right. I mean, Black Panther's really the shock here. No. So... Yeah, it was going to make stupid money. Are we doing our little game that we're going to try to keep weekly? <laughs> Be a little game, yeah. Black Panther ain't moving from number one. <laughs> well, let me see what's coming out next week or this weekend. What's this weekend? Uh, uh Friday 23rd. Okay, wait, is that it? No, Tuesday 13th, no, 16th. One first of March. First of first March. Week. I'm looking for the first of March. Okay, that's going backwards. Um, jump to 2018 March, March 2018. So yeah, you it... want the weekend of the second of March. The so, se- the second Death of Wish? Fourth. Yeah, no, that's not going to Death Wish ain't going to make it in the top yeah, five. Yeah, that's not going to, yeah. If it does, I'd be surprised. To be honest, I can see Jumanji going back up to five. Yeah, no, there's no movies that are really going to take... What about Red Sparrow? What about what? Red Sparrow. Francis Lawrence. Says Jennifer oh, Lawrence. Red Joe Ab- Edgerton. Um, it's got absolutely slammed. I know that much. I think IGN gave it a 2.5. Yeah. Uh, um, then no movie's really going to change up like the stuff, like in terms of no new movie coming out this weekend. Um, I, I'm I'm going to go out on the limb and say Red Sparrow is going to come out at number two. See, I don't think... I think Annihilation is going to number two. No, I think Annihilation might... Annihilation, if anything, is going to stay right there. I think it has hype now, more so than ever. I'm... It's... I'm 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 gonna say it's gonna stay there. Um, I don't think Black Panthers be. one. That's we both agree on that. Um, you say yeah, Red that, Sparrow that... two, right? Yeah, Red Sparrow yeah. two. I think Game Night would be three. Peter Rabbit. I think um, Peter Rabbit's out. No, I don't know. it's only drops thirty percent from this. Okay, let's I... let's do it officially. We're doing it officially. We're gonna write it down. So we both think Black Panthers one. Hmm. So we both think Black Panther's one. Unless, like, something dr- like horrific happens, uh, Black Panther ain't moving. <laughs> They'll make, Red like, Sparrow another... For, you, for two... What did you want? For three? Um, I'm going to keep Game Night at three. Okay, Peter Night. Rabbit. Peter Rabbit at four. And then you say Jumanji could go to five? Because I... That Fifty Shades of Grey, man. I mean, Fifty Shades freed. It's in what? It's it went fifty eight percent. It dropped sixty percent in the third week. So you and think Jumanji's... Jumanji's coming back? Yeah, I can see Jumanji I can see going that too. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. I know Red Sparrow's gonna be in one of these, but I just don't know. Uh... Yeah, I'm only saying second because it's the newest one. Okay, my turn. Uh. And Jess will actually be back next week with the and actually talk about who got it right, who got it wrong. Yes, we will. Since we since we started it, we haven't actually done. That. We will indeed next week. Me, um, me and you started it last year, and then it, we never came back until now. I think Peter Rabbit's at four as well for some reason. I think mm, Red Sparrow I, comes in at three. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think Red Sparrow comes in at three. Um, is there nothing else that comes out? Death Wish, but like, is that really gonna? Really gonna move anything? It's Death Wish. What's it's coming on twenty seven hundred theaters? Has thirty million budget. Eli Roth, Vincent D'Onofrio, Bruce Willis. That's the one where he's kind of like. Oh, it's I'm back. The remake, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I feel like uh, it'll be up there somewhere. Hmm. You could change it. You could change it. I think Death Wish comes See, out too. My thing is, I haven't seen Death Wish advertised. At all, I've seen a lot of it to be honest, but Not at the lot, same but... time, I am trying to talk domestic numbers here, not foreign. Um, so I don't know if Death has been like, advertised in the States, I imagine it has, but not a lot. Um, no, I'm gonna stick with the five I have, okay? I think Black Panther going to Death Wish, then Red Sparrow, then Game Night because I think Game Night still says, I think there's some hype around Game Night. I've been seeing some, some little, some little, uh. Talking about game night, so I was like, "All right, Death Wish, Red Sparrow, game night." I think Peter Rabbit goes to five. Actually, Peter Rabbit five, Red Sparrow at three, Death Wish at two, Black Panther at one, and Game Night goes to four. 
How m what drop do you think Panther's going to have? I don't know in the 40s. I don't think he's going over 50, to be honest. I think people are still wanting to go see Black Panther for a third, fourth time. But do you think it stays in the 100 mil, or do you think it drops out? No, I think it drops out. I don't think it's sustainable in 100 mil again. Mm. I hope I'm wrong, because I would love to see Black Panther make more money, but it's just... It'll be... It'll be nuts if it stays. <laughs> it's literally eleven per eleven million out of a hundred mil. I don't see that eleven million. I see those eleven million people going to see other movies, or eleven pe mm. people. I mean, money. Then eleven million dollars going to see it for other money for other movies, or they're just not going to the movie so that they can save it for a movie that's coming up. True. So, what I find interesting though is they didn't. They haven't released a budget for Panther, but it's being reported at two hundred. Yeah. So it's like. Hmm. Look at it. Okay, so I got mine. So yours, yeah, Black Panther at one for next uh for this weekend. Red Sparrow at two, Game Night at three, Peter Rabbit at four, Jumanji at five. It's a good that's a good that's a good lineup, but you know, Black Panther at one for me. I think Death Wish is gonna make its way to two for some reason. I, I was gonna say why. if if Death Wish crack no All he needs to it, do is what crack might... fifteen million? Maybe. Maybe? I, I don't know if it'll crack fifteen. You don't? No. Uh, nah, I don't. I'm switching. Be... Red Sparrow to two and Death Wish to three. <laughs> I don't know. I agree with you in the same way. It's being released in less theaters, so mm. I'm I'm gonna stick with my. I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm gonna stick. With my so life. Black Panther one for me. Red Sparrow two. Death Wish three. Game Night four. Peter Rabbit five. I don't think Jumanji's coming back. To be honest. I mean, I I just I like Jumanji. I, I people yeah, dude, pe people like Jumanji. They're still clearly going to see Jumanji. Yes, yeah, true. You know, it's it's making. It's on par with Fifty Shades in like its tenth week. <laughs> so it's so, kind of crazy. I think that's gonna be it for today's show. We have this. We're coming back next week to mention this to talk about this. To see uh, how wrong we are. I, I hope we're right. We, it's a little game we <laughs> can play with the people listening. So um, yeah, I think that's really it. Um, just of course, Pastor Remote out there talking TV shows. YouTube already youtube.com slash comic book which is how you're watching it but if you're listening on iTunes or somewhere you can go there yeah. gaming look podcast the, tomorrow look for the blue thumbnail exactly as I said gaming podcast tomorrow main show Thursday comic show Friday patreon.com slash comic book by tomorrow he means Wednesdays so this is coming out on Tuesday yeah yeah I, I know but I'm just saying for like for future like to future proof it yeah Wednesday gaming Thursdays May Chase Thursday, exactly. Comics Friday. So, yeah. Until next time. <laughs>